What's up? Want to change your Wi-Fi name and password to your AT&T gateway, but you don't have your Smart Home Manager app? I'm going to show you the fast and easy way. You're just going to need um, a code right quick, and it's going to be that one right there, 192.168.1.254. You tap this into your browser right about here. Again, 192.168.1.254. There we go. And this takes you into the GUI of the AT&T router. All right, so here we go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the modify Wi-Fi, modify your Wi-Fi security and settings. And then you're gonna type in the device access code, which is on the back of the AT&T router. All right, so we are into the Wi-Fi security after we've typed in the device access code. So what you're gonna do is so you can go here and this will, well, it's not, okay. So you can change the entire name with this and you can do a WPS button, add a PSBS pin and turn on your guest network. And this will do a channel scan for your two and five gigahertz frequencies. Let's do advanced right here. And on this Wi-Fi configuration, you got your 2.4, BG is naturally on. We can turn G, BG, BGN, BGNAAX, BG, I mean GN, GNAX, NAX, N only. So we're gonna, let's play with that, see what happens there. Okay, and then it says WPA2 and it has WPA2 and three. Um, you can take it and do change to WPA. If you do no privacy, it's just a wide open network. So you can set that up. And then you can also do your guest here along with your 5G. So that's here. Let's see, does it show the other one? No, it doesn't. Okay, so this one's gonna do, uh, let's do NNAC and let's see if it kicks on the secondary five gigahertz. No, it doesn't. Okay, cool. So we need the AX somewhere. So you can even hide the network. That's pretty cool. All right. Um, you can put up to 80 clients, all right? Wi-Fi protected setup, that's WPS, which is this guy right here. Uh, WPS button, uh, or you can do a WPS pin, so one, two, three, four, five, if you want to. Uh, let's see what else we can do here. Uh, it's pretty cut and dry, it's pretty simple, it looks like. Uh, we, I mean, we can change this thing up, G only. Let's see, what does that do? All right, let's do, what does that do here? What does N only do? This changes that. I really thought there was a way to enable the high speed 5G, like change all three of them. So we're gonna do that guy. And we're gonna mess with that one and go BGNAX, so that's all of them. And then your 20 megahertz and 40 megahertz, I believe the higher is gonna be a little bit faster with less uh, distance. So, and on this side it explains everything that it does too. So, nine, so the 2.4 maximum is 90. So the 2.4 maximum clients is 90 and 5G can hold up to 96. Okay, cool, did not know that. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Just kind of fiddling around with this right quick just to see a few things. I mean, you can change your discretion. I think this goes to 120, oh, 160. There we go. What does that do? I was trying to find what, what that does over here. Power configuration rounded off to 10. Wi-Fi channel bandwidth operation mode. High show. Uh, I want to say that the the megahertz, uh, the higher it is, the faster your internet is going to be, but at a short distance because it's like a high frequency, I believe. Um, maximum interoperability. All right, cool. Doesn't really say anything on it about it, but uh, that's pretty neat. Um, I didn't know it did 160, that's pretty cool. And you can buy, find your best channel, defaults by 100. You can turn it on or off. WPA2 and WPA3, what is it? Uh, sorry for speeds. What is here, let's see. Does that open up the other one? No, it doesn't. 
I guess they changed it up. We can't load. Oh, I thought we could. I'm probably wrong on that. Home SSID. So, I mean, we can shut it off completely. Uh, it turns the Wi-Fi off. Yeah. You can turn 2.4 off. 5G off. And then you can get in... Honestly, on this, if you turn all these off, you can get your own, you know, third-party router, get you an Eero, an RB, whatever. Let's see, device. What does that do? So that takes me down to this and to this. It doesn't do line one or line two because I don't have anything. Broadband configuration is down because I don't have service to it. That's pretty neat. Let's see. So your firewall gets you your IP pass through. Let's see your packet filter, NAT gaming, host IP pass through firewall advanced. Ooh. Incoming IC echo LAN security options. All right. Where's your Network. Is this it right here? Come on. Oh, hold on a second. All right. I hope this helped. All right. Well, I hope this helped everybody out. We'll see you next time.